Hi. So today's talk is labeled Gone with the Wind, It's a Wonderful Life. Okay, so in the late 1940s, uh, the war in Europe was over and servicemen were coming back to their wives and sweethearts and looking to start their life again after four years of war. They had a very tough time there and during these years and previous to that, there was the Great Recession or Depression as it was known. Okay, so they came back and they wanted a better life and the silver companies were looking to help them. So the, several new silver companies came on board. The Westmoreland Company, the Easterling Company, the Fine Arts Company, the State House Company. And we've always seen how much silver that these companies made and we said, boy, we wish we could have hired these guys because they were great at what they did. They sold an incredible amount of silver. But now I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking they weren't much so much selling silver as they were selling a lifestyle. And I found this old brochure that helped me make my decision about that. So it was by the Royal Crest Company and a person would actually join the Royal Crest Society when they bought their silver. So this brochure says that Mrs. T.H. Jameson in 1949 bought her silver and joined the society. And there's many pages in this brochure about the benefits of the society, etc. This page is kind of interesting. So it says sterling is the royalty of silverware. Sterling is something to make you proud. Sterling is a tradition. Sterling is a heritage be handed down from one generation to another. Sterling stands for gracious living. Children are quick to react to lovely things with good manners, poise, and correct use of silver. Makes them proud of their home. Sterling is all that stands for the social arts. The last sentence is, I think, important. Sterling may be the most treasured addition to the estate you are building. Nothing you possess may have greater significance to those most dear to you than your family sterling. Okay, so as I say, these young wives bought sterling for several reasons. Not because they wanted to use silverware, but because they wanted the lifestyle. They wanted their children have something better. They wanted to pass something along to, to future generations. And they really worked hard to do this. Most of these companies sold silverware on the by the week selling or by the month selling. So the, the mother would buy one piece a week or one piece a month in order to get their silverware set. Okay, now we fast forward to 2015. Grandma, years ago, gave the silver to her daughter, who is a baby boomer, and she's used it sometimes, occasionally, and she's always loved her mother's silver. She is now downsizing, and she wants to give it to her daughter, and she's very surprised her daughter says, I don't want it. And she's disappointed. The, the young girl says, I don't like the style, which here are some of the patterns. They're very traditional. Today, people like mid-century modernism, simple styles. These are traditional. Okay. Another thing is that we hear very often is that I have to polish it, which they don't want to do, and that I don't have that kind of a lifestyle. So, so I would like to say to all the young girls who are being offered their mothers and grandmothers silver, please reconsider. Now, accept the silver. It's something that your grandmother really wanted you to have. It's not that much work. About a half an hour of polishing will do the whole job. And I think if I think if you just used it once a year for Thanksgiving, it'd be special on the table 
and you could give thanks for the life that you have and for what your grandmother and your parents provided for you and think back to it's a wonderful life and and have a wonderful life thank you